don't have the gusto or the will power to do so. I was thinking about the text. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> but I thought about a mind being a, a mighty weapon. If you can get your mind set, you can walk on fire. Yes. If you get your mind set, you can walk on glass. If you can get your mind set. Perhaps that's why the scripture said, let this mind be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. I remember the minister and I that came along at Grand Faith. He was Minister Robert Carr. He's a bishop. I remember him preaching a message one time, and he said the church people uh, is like cloudy weather when a plane is up. <laughs> plane want to land where they can't see the landing strip. That's right. That's right. God want to bless us, but he can't get to us because we got too much stuff up. Amen. 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 And so I continue to reach out to you to try to inform you to try to encourage you to try to motivate you and help you to understand what God's plan is for your life. Amen. Try to somehow get you sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Amen. So I'm going to read this scripture that we previously read. We'll read it again. 7 Chronicles 7 and 12. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. The main emphasis that I want uh, to raise tonight is God's response to prayer. God's response. I know many times we pray and look like our prayer don't even hit the ceiling. Like our prayer never gets answered. Mm -hmm. We wait and we watch and look like nothing never happens. And if you are praying and it seems like nothing never happens, it should concern you yes. deeply. Yes. Because prayer is significant in the kingdom of God. Amen. If you study the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, you will find that prayer was an exercise or an activity or characteristic that everybody used at some time or another, no matter what Amen. they were facing. But here Solomon had the privilege, the honor, To be of the Lord's house. His father was not granted the privilege to be of the Lord's house. But God blessed him even because it was in his heart to do so. And so he gave Solomon the privilege to build the Lord's house. And Solomon built the house of the Lord and all that he had planned to build, even his own house. He built 
And once he had built it, he prayed. Uh -huh. yes. And oftentimes I say we got to give God something to work with. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. We asking God for blessing, but what do we want God to bless? What have we offered unto the Lord? What have we sacrificed unto the Lord? What have we presented unto the Lord for the Lord to bless? Uh -huh. And so after Solomon had built the Lord's house, God heard his prayer. Uh -huh. And God would responded to Solomon's prayer and said, I have heard thy prayer. I wonder tonight how many of us have had an experience where we knew that God heard our prayer. Amen. Amen. We got a response immediately from God that everything would be all right. We've got some kind of manifestation of some kind of assurance that God had heard our prayer and that we could go on and don't have to worry about a thing. Amen. Amen. God not only opened his ears and his eyes upon the house that saw him. But he says, I and have chosen this place yes. 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 to myself. Yes. It means something tonight to be chosen of God. Yes. You yes. got to know you've been chosen. Yes. Some of y'all act like y'all don't know you've been chosen. Yes. Some of us don't act like we are a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. But God said, I have chosen this house as a place to myself. Can you say And when God makes choice of a house, of a place, everything that you need is already taken care of. I say everything that you can imagine is already taken care of. You may not see it tonight, but whatever you have need of tomorrow has already been provided. You may not have a dollar in your pocket tonight, but if you are in right standing with God and you need gas tomorrow, gas is going to come from somewhere. Amen. Don't y'all get happy too quick. <laughs> because once God assures Solomon that I've chosen this place as a house of sacrifice, my heart shall be there. Perpetual. Yes. Huh. Thank you, Lord. Where your heart is is key. Amen. To that. Yes. And here God affirms the, the fact that my heart is there. My heart is with you. Yes. Yes, sir. And if you own God's heart tonight, yes. God will see you. Yes. 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 Thank you Lord. But then God said, listen. There are some requirements that one must be mindful of. He said, if I shut up heaven, then there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among the my people. We must be careful tonight and mindful of that. God is jealous. Yeah. God's people had had an up and down relationship with God. Yeah. And there were times when God punished them. Yeah. Yeah. The time when 